guys we are of course back with another video and here we are we're finally covering MD Pope now the whole reason that I wanted to cover this specific mix mixtape or rather group of mixtapes is because they've got let's say a special place in my heart these mixtapes were the first ever mixtapes that I'd ever heard about within the mondo and mixtapes community and the first thing that I saw being explained on YouTube. So I thought we'd, uh, we'd go through it in our own special little way today. And I've also slipped into something a little bit more comfortable because this is going to be a long one. So grab yourself some milk and cookies. Or rather not the cookies because you probably won't want a snack by the end of this. Actually now I think about it, the milk's probably a bad idea as well. So grab yourself a strong alcoholic beverage. And let me just warn you, I know there was a warning at the start, this will contain descriptions of some pretty disturbing content, so viewer discretion is advised. So let's get right into it. You start off with your intro screen, and this is a mixtape that is made by somebody known as Thomas Cinemagore. And Thomas Cin Cinemagore will be presenting a very illegal movie for us today. But uh, yeah, it's it's not really illegal, it's just a very edgy little thing that we're putting in the intro. And then the title screen comes up saying MD Pope, which if you don't know, stands for the most disturbed person on planet Earth. We then get a little warning screen which you can just read right here. So we don't get much to think about as we are launched straight into the first clip. The first clip comes up and there's this dude with massive balls. The clip is called 38 years without ejaculation so it's pretty obvious that he's just been saving up for this moment. And when I say that his balls are huge I mean they're like the size of a small dog. I own a chihuahua and even the chihuahua isn't as big as this man's balls. It proceeds to cut to the man ejaculating and it's like a volcano of semen. There's just semen everywhere. There's semen on him, there's semen on the couch, there's probably semen in the south of Australia by the looks of things. The next clip is one guy, one basketball and it's basically somebody suction cupping a basketball out of a man's ass, and it just sort of pops out. Next clip is a two minute video called Chomp. Now this whole thing is an Asian scat clip or a JAV, I think it's called, Japanese adult video, uh, in which a man is lying underneath a hole. A woman then proceeds to shit violently onto his face. He then starts eating all of these feces, hence the title of the video being called Chomp. The next clip is called Kittens Used as Bait for Sharks and this is unfortunately our first animal video. There's a few, not too many, but there is a few so yeah, animal stuff unfortunately does occur within this mixtape. This clip shows a man hooking a fishing rod onto the back of a cat's neck while it's still alive. The cat's just sort of hanging there, shaking. It basically shows the fishermen reeling in these cats on these hooks with sharks chasing after them and it just keeps showing the before and after these cats are used for bait. It's a pretty sick clip overall. Next up we've got one girl, one picture. Basically a video of a girl who urinates into a jug and then is forced to drink it. And then the man who's feeding her her own urine then proceeds to urinate into the drug himself and also feed that to her. Now his urine is very yellow and he doesn't seem to be hydrated. I'd recommend drinking more water, at least eight glasses a day, I think. And yeah, then he feeds that to her, of course. And then it cuts to the man defecating on her face and it's a very small sloppy poo. Basically starts to wipe this poo on her face and another woman joins in and starts rubbing the poo all over her body. The next clip is called Funnel Girl. So there's this metal contraption in the middle of this empty room that looks just like a toilet. Now underneath it there's a man lying down with a funnel connected from the 
toilet bowl into the man's mouth. And again, you notice it's a uh, JAV Japanese adult video. So this girl comes in, lifts up her skirt, and starts doing the business into this big toilet metal contraption thing in which all the poo and wee is going through this funnel into this man's mouth. She then pulls her pants up and then grabs a toilet brush and starts forcing all of the excrement and urine down into the funnel into the man's mouth. Next up we've got a clip called Barbaric Syrians Pushing a Donkey Off of a Cliff. It's a very short video of two blokes edging a donkey off of a cliff edge. One of the men gives the donkey a massive kick and the donkey just sort of goes flying off of the edge of the cliff. Next clip is called Disgusting Attack on a Pregnant Woman. It's basically a woman in a bathtub getting beaten up by another woman, or two women rather. They're basically hitting her head on the side of this bathtub and you know they're punching her as well as stomping on her. And then one of the women for some reason starts squirting shampoo onto the pregnant woman's head. Next up we've got the Mexican Chainsaw Massacre which has in fact been covered by quite a lot of gore YouTubers. Basically a video of a man and I believe it's his son, don't take my word for that. Now the two are sat and they're just talking randomly. And then some guy in a balaclava fires up a chainsaw and proceeds to cut the father's head off, killing him almost instantly. And unfortunately it doesn't get any better for the son. Now covered in his father's blood, he proceeds to get decapitated with a very blunt knife. Now I have actually heard the sounds for this one and the sound of the son's struggle breathing is just horrible to listen to. It's just a really long and painful death overall. And the guy who's just decapitated him places the son's head on his body in which the head just sort of rolls off. Next up we've got a gay fetish film called The Birth of Bert from 1980. This is a very, very pixelated video of a guy who's having several items shoved up his anus such as a plushie of Bert from Sesame Street, a large dildo and somebody's arm and leg obviously attached to the person still, it's not just a, a decapitated arm or leg. And then a guy dressed as a doctor comes along and starts to sort of role play childbirth with this guy in which he takes all of the items out of this guy's anus and then hands the Bert plushie to the guy who's tied up in which he proceeds to sort of cradle it as if it's his own little baby. Next clip comes up and it's one guy, one screwdriver. Now this clip makes me get. So this is a video of a guy with a screwdriver inside his pee pee hole and he proceeds to pull the screwdriver out of his pee pee hole and it just sort of pisses blood everywhere and it's just sort of playing with his penis and squeezing it and squirting blood out of it and then it cuts to him showing the blood and the screwdriver on his bathroom floor and there's also a puddle of blood in the bath as well as the sink. The next clip is called One Guy, One Kilo, that can't be right, I must have misspelled that, I think it's like 10 kilo or something like that, because it's definitely not one kilo, it is way more than one kilo. Basically a dude with a large gas canister and two large bottles of drink, and if you want to know what they are, it's a cola and there's an orange fizzy drink there as well. And these two bottles are attached to either side of this canister. And he proceeds to lift all three items up using just his manhood, his balls. It's just string wrapped around his sack and these items. It's, uh, yeah, weightlifting. Now, this one I don't like. It's uh, a bunny crush fetish video. And again, it's Japanese, I believe. So it's basically a clip of this girl, a woman, cuddling a bunny uh, in which she proceeds to lift it up and drop it onto a table for starters. She then puts the bunny in her skirt pocket and starts to walk around with it. And then it cuts to her 
sitting on the bunny lightly and you can tell by the bunny's facial expression that it's very scared and then she starts to crush it with a giant pane of glass and then she sits on the pane of glass on top of the bunny and by that point obviously unfortunately the bunny is dead and there's blood just trickling out of its mouth now the next clip is a video of a girl who is being tortured with feces now she's basically sat on the floor tied to a street lamp and this looks like somewhere maybe like indonesia or thailand or one of those asian countries and she just sat there crying as people throw shit at her i mean god knows what she's done our next clip is called legless fuck and if you haven't already worked out what this is it's basically amputee porn and it's just basically a large guy having sex with a woman with no legs the next clip is the classic one man one jar which i don't really need to go into full detail on because there's a video added on that so you can go and watch that and you'll probably hear me say that a few times within this as there is some very popular clips within this mixtape so i'll be i'll be linking them up for full stories throughout this video it's not a shameless plug i swear in short it's basically that video where a man sits on a jar and puts the jar up his bum and then the jar eventually breaks and he takes about two minutes just getting blood and glass out of his anus and then you have the infamous mr hands video now i actually skipped through this because if you think i'm going to sit there and watch this video for like the minute and a half or whatever it's on for then you've got another thing coming so i didn't actually watch this video and i've never actually seen this one but what i do know from both the internet and word of mouth is that this man had sex with a horse and apparently the horse penis ruptured his intestines or i mean his insides and eventually killed him i don't know the full story next up we've got et the porno and i believe it's either brazilian or portuguese it's it's that language it's basically a woman dressed as et you know that movie et it's a great movie go check it out before you watch the uh, porn parody <laughs> and as et she's basically doing sexual things there's basically this dude in a top hat and like some really fancy white dress attire basically just going for it with this woman who's dressed as et and don't get me wrong the makeup is absolutely brilliant and it's almost as weird as that spongebob porn parody if you've not seen that one next up we've got a guy tortured by syrian soldiers they're basically hitting him and whipping him and they turn him around at one point and his back is just completely purple and you can really tell that he's in a great deal of pain and they start whipping him with what looks like this sort of white rope and he basically goes down onto the floor and one of the men starts just stomping on him and keep in mind that this man who's stomping on him is wearing very heavy army boots so it looks like it really really hurts the next clip is called big dick syndrome and surprise surprise it's another dude with huge balls and a massive penis he basically masturbates using both of his hands and it just looks nasty he ejaculates as well it's bleh, yeah, not great next up we've got two girls one octopus and uh, again it's japanese so there's these two women and one of them is chained by the neck in this sort of wooden bath now the other girl starts putting various parts of the octopus inside the let's call her bath woman vagina and this video is extremely blurry and pixelated and it's really really difficult to make out what's going on exactly all i know is that this octopus just looks fucking done it's just there like yep i'm done this is this is life they're really just licking the octopus and putting this octopus into places where it doesn't belong there's just a variety of places this octopus is going this octopus is on vacation next up we've got two kids one sandbox this is basically a woman who puts an object inside a man's pee pee hole and starts going up and down with it inside the pee pee hole next up is bath salt sex 
and we basically met with this lovely lady called Destiny DeVille, who basically pushes a guy onto a couch and just goes crazy with his penis. Next up we've got anamorphic animal porn, and no this one isn't bestiality, <laughs> as you'll find out in a second. So there's this dude in like this really really high quality lion mask and it's a hardcore porn scene. Japanese again might I add, and there's another scene with a guy wearing a very realistic pig mask just masturbating over a couple having sex. And it's such a ugly, ugly mask, I'll show it if I can. And it just cuts to him having sex with the woman of this couple. Uh, and then Mufasa the lion man joins and they bang this woman together. And then there's this guy who joins in with a massive horse mask with a giant horse penis. And it's quite obviously fake, of course. I think all the penises in this are fake. And then it cuts to all three of these animal people having a go with a completely different woman. The next clip is called Mother Swings Her Infant Child Around Like a Monkey and this one's a little bit well quite fucked up. I'm pretty sure this is basically just a child abuse let's be honest. It's basically just a woman who's holding this baby by the arms and she starts sort of swinging it around and making it do some really unnatural weird movements or while just holding it by its arms. Sorry, I just knocked my mic then. <laughs> Obviously, I can't imagine it being too comfortable for the infant at all. I was just watching it like, just put the goddamn baby down. Holy shit, woman. She's treating it as if this kid's some kind of fucking Olympic gymnast or something like that. And then she starts swinging it by its legs and then eventually gets bored and just throws it onto a bed. The next clip is a horrible truck accident. Now there's about three people who are dead in this scene, all just strewn out across the floor. And in one particular area, there's basically a mother and a father who are holding their dead son in their arms, crying. It's a very, very distressing clip. The next clip is called the PTJ Not Not Two trailer. And it's a trailer for a Japanese scat movie basically shows a close-up of a woman's anus and poo comes out of it and it's just this really long skinny poo and it tries censoring it but it doesn't cover anything at all it's not even worth censoring now at some point in the trailer they start collecting her poo in this metal dish and then she starts sort of licking it and eating it and some guy comes in and starts feeding her it and then she starts just picking it up and rubbing it on her face and into her teeth and then it cuts to her tied up in ropes with poo smeared all over her in which she's then whipped with this cat of nine tails looking thing and then it cuts to her tied up in this leather chair all cleaned up in which she just proceeds to piss and shit everywhere and again mr man comes in and starts smearing it all over her body and then starts doing her with a dildo while somebody rubs her breasts. And that's the PTJ Not Not Too trailer. The next clip is a man getting dragged across the floor by his ball sack. It's obviously a kink video. The dragger then proceeds to kick the man in the balls quite hard. And she just keeps kicking him in the balls over and over again. And it really made me grasp my own testicles. Next clip is called Spin the Cat in the Tumble Dryer. Now an RSPCA warning comes up and I just thought, great, more animal stuff. So there's this really cute looking tabby cat that's just lying on the floor. Somebody then proceeds to pick up the cat and throw it into this tumble dryer, uh, just setting it off and you see the cat going round and round in this tumble dryer. He stops it for a few seconds and then sets it off again. And then he stops it, opens the tumble dryer, and the cat looks okay, very, very shaken up, but it manages to get out of the tumble dryer and just run off. The next clip is three guys, one hammer. Now, I have actually talked about this one too in my gauntlet challenge explanation. Now, the thing that was shown in this clip wasn't like the stuff that was shown within the gauntlet challenge this is basically the first part of that full clip now 
the second part I explain basically in the gauntlet challenge so if you want to hear a bit more about this one I don't see why you would but if you do it'll be there near the end of the video and it was also my first leap into talking about this kind of stuff so don't be too harsh with it if you go and watch it and this is a clip that basically features two Russian guys who I always forget the names of because I'm not good at remembering Russian names so in this short clip or short version of this other clip they basically start off walking towards these bins uh, and there's a body behind this bin they proceed to cut the ear off of this person who looks to be already dead they then proceed to cut his hand off stab him in the eyeball and then carve up his face now next up it's two guys one stump and this is a shock video that I completely forgot existed within the realm of things like meat spin and two girls one cup. It's essentially a guy tied up and there's an amputee with the leg missing just below the knee. Now he proceeds to put his stump into the tied up man's butthole. Next up we've got a clip called Horny Little Smurfs basically a cartoon of a woman who's sitting on a bed and up come these three smurfs which aren't blue they're actually white so they look more like a tiny tiny version of Snow White's seven dwarves and let's call them dwarves these three dwarves are sporting these big dwarven erections they proceed to put a pill inside the drink of this woman which effectively spikes her knocking her out unconscious it's probably a sleeping pill from there they start climbing into her vagina one by one one of these little dwarf smurf things gets his penis blown up to an enormous size and goes to pound town on the woman and one of the smurfs is already inside the vagina of this woman in which he keeps getting crushed by this big dwarven penis. Now the other dwarf eventually ejaculates and the dwarf inside the vagina is swimming in a pool of semen. The next clip is called African Man Lynched and Burnt Alive for Being Gay. Now it shows an African man on the ground who has just been necklaced which if you don't know is when they put a rubber tire around your neck and effectively just set it on fire which would hopefully kill you after you've been set alight with gas and fire and let me just say that he just shouldn't have to suffer this way just because of his sexuality it's a very very barbaric act indeed and yeah they're just shouting at him throwing stuff at him and hitting him and then they try to necklace him yet again so they set him on fire and he manages to run away the crowd managed to catch up to him they kick him in front of an oncoming car and the car misses him by inches so while he's down on the ground somebody also launches a table a wooden table at him and then they set fire to the table with the man underneath and unfortunately both the man and the table burn to death the next clip <laughs> I don't like this one it's called man ties his testicles up and then chops them off and obviously the title is pretty straightforward it's a guy whose testicles are tied up so tight that I presume they lose blood circulation over a short period of time it shows a little time lapse of his balls being a normal color in which they eventually turn a pale white eventually becoming some sort of horrible green black thing it looks very very alien they're just shrunken and dead they just look moldy so yeah it cuts to him grabbing a scalpel and then just casually cutting away at his testicles but there's no blood because obviously he's cut off all circulation to the bald sack but instead it just sort of cuts away like a big chunk of rotting meat so he cuts off the initial ball sack and then finishes it off just by cutting through the rest of it with a pair of scissors and to him it's just like he's cutting through paper it's yeah it's horrible 
and this video just goes on and on and on and I just felt so so nauseous after it I just ugh, I just felt sick and then it cuts to him basically showing off the parts that he's cut off and that actually brings us to halfway through this mixtape all right so it's day two I thought we'd leave it well not really because you're seeing me probably about a second after I hit the stop recording button even though it's 24 hours in front but anyway yeah this is the second day of recording not that it matters to uh, you lot at all now I do apologize if you can hear a little bit of wind and rain outside on this ha next half it's very windy and very rainy out there and it keeps making some uh, really weird sounds out there and there's like this really weird whistle that keeps coming through my window so you'll probably be able to hear that at some point too and now would be a great point to pause the video and maybe go make yourself another cup of tea or something because that was a pretty heavy first part so I'll just uh, sit here and let you guys do that Anyway, moving on to our next clip, we've got one lunatic, one ice pick, which is of course the infamous shock video by Luca Magnotta, which I have actually, again, talked about in great detail on another video. Now this starts off with a man tied to a bed, still very much alive. It then cuts to the man dead, tied to this bed in which Luca Magnotta then proceeds to stab the man over and over again and then the, the Luca just starts cutting the man's leg with the knife and the man's arm with the knife and just keeps on digging into this man it's also worth noting that this man's head is also oh well his neck rather is sliced extremely deep almost to the point of being beheaded and it cuts to Luca playing with the head in his hands off his body and then it shows him chopping off the limbs with this ice pick I keep calling it a knife but I know it's an ice pick and at this point now the dead man is lying on his front with his backs back and his buttocks showing Luca then starts to cut into this man's back with the ice pick and it also shows him teasing himself sexually with the man's cut off hand it then cuts to the man's legless armless and headless body in which Luca then proceeds to lie on top of it and well fully clothed and then grind against this man's body he then begins to carve into the buttocks of the corpse using nothing but a knife and fork and finally it shows him defiling the corpse with a glass bottle next up we've got a clip called four girls finger painting and this is yet another classic shock and also another japanese scat movie it starts off with four women of course in which one of the women then proceeds to take a giant steaming dump onto another man's another woman's butt which i can only assume will be the palette used for the upcoming bodily fluid ink that's about to be used uh, but that doesn't happen uh, and one of the women actually starts eating the poo off of this other woman's bum and then it shows them actually finger painting poo pictures or poo portraits poo traits onto each other's bodies and then to finish off this wonderful work of art another woman pukes onto one of the women's shitty asses, and that same woman pukes inside another woman's mouth as well now the next clip is called ad porn and yes i censored that word it's not often we censor words here but it's just a no-no word it's just a word that i don't like saying on the internet at all and this basically just features two special people getting it on there's nothing really to say about it good for them let's move on next clip is called south american police beat on a kid now this is what is presumably a 13 year old boy who's sitting against a wall on a dirty cushion getting kicked and hit by 
South American police. A bucket is placed on his head and they continue to beat him up. Next up we've got another classic shocker called Eel Soup. This is where a large group of eels are funneled down a woman's butt. And there is, there's loads of them and every single last one gets just drained down this woman's bum hole. And there's just like this one little eel which don't, just won't surrender to the black hole. Very, <laughs> it just won't go down there. Anyway, the woman who's received these eels then starts shooting the eels out of her bum. And let me tell you, the first one that comes out of her anus slaps the other woman straight in the face. And let me tell you, it's an impressive shot. And this just goes on. The eels just keep pouring out of this asshole. Next clip is called Man Slices His Back Open to show us that God is great. Now if I'm not wrong, this particular clip is part of a tradition that happens somewhere. I, I, I'm not pretty sure it's not common in the religion I'm thinking of, but this is definitely a tradition that goes on as a festival somewhere. <laughs> now this particular video is a video of a man with a giant knife. He then proceeds to smack this giant knife on his back, not once, but twice. Extremely hard, in which his spinal area just sort of cracks open. It's like splitting a coconut, or a watermelon to be more exact. It then shows another guy doing the exact same thing with two sickles attached to some kind of rope and one of the sickles just gets stuck in his back and he's just really going for it with these two sickles and i know this is some sort of religious thing but jesus christ and it cuts back to this guy who split his whole back open like a watermelon and they're actually operating on him in the back of an ambulance at this point and i'm pretty sure they're just looking for like little pieces of metal that i've got lodged in there the next clip is called mr dick torture now it was very hard to make out what exactly was going on in this clip at first but if you look at it more you realise that it's a man's penis and balls with various needles and syringes stuck in it and the actual pee pee is split in half. He takes the needles out and his area just starts pissing blood. He's just sat there sort of squeezing his helmet so that blood squirts out of it. He then masturbates with the two split penis ends in which eventually he ejaculates and the semen just comes out of the bottom of the penis near his ball sack. The next clip is two girls one cup. Now I have of course again spoken about this individually and talked about how this entire thing is an hour long. So the shorter clip basically starts off as what I'd call normal lesbian porn in which one of the girls then proceeds to take a poo in a cup the two girls then start to lick the poo in the cup eventually moving on to consuming it and then they start kissing each other with poo in their mouth and one of the girls pukes into the other girl's mouth and the other girl returns the favor by also puking into the other girl's mouth and it just sort of carries on like that. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that she pukes into the cup of poo and they eat that as well. So yeah, you get a bit of both with that one. Next clip is called Evil Woman Smashing a Kitten and Killing It with the Heel of Her Shoe. And it is basically what it says in the title. There's an Asian woman who's holding a kitten next to a lake. There's nobody else around and she puts the kitten on the floor. She strokes the kitten for a little bit and then proceeds to stand on the kitten while it's on the ground, firstly crushing its back end. It then cuts to her with the stiletto heel inside the cat's mouth and then her putting a stiletto heel into the cat's eyeball. She then starts crushing, sorry, the cat's neck and head area eventually flattening the whole kitten and at one point one of its eyeballs actually comes out of its socket and she 
cut, she crushes that eyeball with her stiletto heel. The next clip is called Turdgasm Uncut, and this is of course more scat porn. It basically shows a close up of somebody's anus, and then them letting out a giant poo. It then cuts to a woman throwing up in another woman's mouth and vice versa, a bit like a, a vomit trade if you might. And one of the women starts scooping up the vomit that has been left on the floor. It then cuts to the camera lying on the floor facing up. Now these two women are over the camera and one of them proceeds to just throw up on the camera, vomit all over the camera lens and then they start doing things in the 69 sex position and by this point I've got a pretty good idea of what's about to happen and my worst fears are confirmed when the top woman lets out a giant poo onto the woman below her and then they just start sort of transferring poo into each other's mouth the next clip is called humans turned into animals in prison this is a video of a bald skinny guy who is walking on all fours like a dog he just proceeds to sit on the floor and start panting and barking like a dog he smiles widely at the camera and he's basically just missing all of his front teeth it then shows him holding a guy's penis and then cuts to him on a leash eating from a dog bowl it then cuts to him and another guy on a leash and they're just sort of barking at each other the next clip is called octocock and obviously i'm pretty sure it's fake but it's a guy who has eight penises now there's a lady who is really enjoying these several penises and at the same time he ejaculates through all eight penises the next clip is called raging soldier stabs corpse in the skull like mad it's just basically a soldier who's stabbing the corpse of somebody over and over again in like a fit of rage he opens the guy's jacket and continues to stab him and then cuts his throat and bear in mind that this guy who is being stabbed over and over is already dead the next clip is called snorting cum basically a woman giving a blowjob the man ejaculates onto a glass table in which the woman then proceeds to scrape up the semen into a line like it's cocaine and then snort this line of semen into her nose the next clip is called thieves burn alive in kenya for stealing potatoes now there are two men who are lying on the ground who look like they've already been given a good beating somebody pours what looks like gas or petrol onto them and then sets them on fire in which these two men start writhing around and screaming in agony until they eventually pass away the next clip is called bme pain olympic cock and ball torture now if you don't remember what the bme pain olympics is i'm about to give you a pretty good example so we start off this clip with a man's prolapsed anus it then shows some kind of pulsing device on a man's penis in which he ejaculates a man then has this huge metal thing put near his pelvis area not quite sure what that is a man then pulls his own pants down and it seems to be another huge cock and balls which is a very common theme in md pope by the looks of things it then cuts to a guy removing needles from his ball sack in which a clear liquid starts to drip out of them it also shows a man swinging from the ceiling via his ball sack jacking off there's also a couple of clips where i'm not exactly sure what was going on and one of them seems to be a man's testicle being blown up by some sort of compressed air or something like that shows a guy hammering his penis onto a workbench shows a guy with a huge metal bar through his pp hole another guy with a strange metal contraption around his penis a man getting lifted up by the balls more needle insertion into the ball sack a guy inserting a whole dinner knife into his pp hole a man bolting his balls to a plank of wood 
a man inserting batteries into his PP hole, some more weird stuff and a guy burning his helmet with a cigarette and a guy with his penis on top of a cactus ejaculating onto the cactus. Oh, thank god that one's over, that is a long one. That was a long one. Now, the next clip is called Ball Girl, Terrible Meal. So we're greeted by a lovely lady who puts her whole hand into her mouth to make herself throw up. She throws up into a ball and then does it again and then does it a third time just for good measure. She then starts digging into it and eating bits and pieces from this bowl of vomit. And then she starts just sort of drinking from it. The next clip is called Goatsy Girl. And I believe this, this is actually another classic shocker. It's basically a guy ejaculating into a woman's bum. And she pushes it out with her prolapsed anus. Next clip is called Lynched and Burnt by a Kenyan Mob. Now this is a man who looks like he's been necklaced unsuccessfully and is then tied down onto the ground. He gets lit on fire and he's just running around in pain while people kick and hit him. Now next up we've got another PTJ trailer and apparently this one is PTJ not not 3 I'm not sure how many of them there are but I'm sure this isn't going to be the last one we ever see. And this is, of course, another one of those JAVs. So it's just two women tonguing the fuck out of each other. One of the women puts her hand into the other woman's mouth and makes her throw up into her own mouth. And then she makes her throw up into a bowl. And let me just say that the vomit looks very metallic, golden coloured. It, it looks very metallic. It's a very weird colour for vomit to be honest and yeah they're just there puking into this bowl and they actually managed to fill this giant bowl right up to the top just with their own vomit they start slurping from this giant glass bowl and it looks like it looks like muesli one of the women then starts shoving the vomit up her vagina and then the other woman pukes onto her vagina and then fists her and then makes the woman on the floor being fisted puke onto her own face and then they bring out this huge bin bag of vomit in which they put it all into a giant bowl and then connect a funnel from the bowl into the bum hole of another woman funnel it funneling it into her bum hole Oh, she's also tied up in the air at this point as well. And then a bit more of this vomit is funneled into the other woman and then they both proceed to squirt out vomit together out of their bum bums. The next clip is called Brutal Prison Gang Rape. This is basically a prisoner who is forced to give fellatio to other prisoners and then is anally violated by his fellow prisoners. The next clip is called Mr. Plow, or Mr. Plow even, sorry. When I say Mr. Plow, I don't mean like the Simpsons truck. It's basically just a guy who inserts a gigantic dildo up his bum hole. Like a really big one. All the way up there. Next clip is called Deformed Dude Gets a Hooker. Now this is a dwarf with long ginger hair a deformed body and very long arms. He's sat on a couch and this young woman comes in and starts performing fellatio on him until he finishes off. The next clip is called Octopus Girl. Yes, we have more octopuses in places where octopuses aren't meant to be. It's basically a woman with a full octopus shoved up her vagina. She basically pushes it out of her like she's giving birth to an octopus baby and eventually the octopus just sort of flops out as octopuses do. Next up we've got the clip known as Tampon Eater. Now if you remember Giovanna Plowman from back in 2013 then you knew that she blew up the internet because she ate her own bloody tampon. 
So yeah, that's basically this whole clip. She's basically recording herself in her bathroom. She proceeds to remove her tampon from her vagina and then hold it up to the camera. And it's, you know, covered in her period juices. She sits down and takes a sniff of the recently removed tampon. She takes a swig of water and then launches the bloody tampon straight into her mouth, sucking the blood out of it. She goes in for a round two, leaving the tampon in her mouth for an even more or an even larger amount of time. And she also goes in for a round three, four, five as well, just for the sake of it. The next clip is called Cat Blender, uh, but it's in Spanish and it's called Licuado de Gato. Uh, and the title basically describes this clip. It's basically a guy who blends a kitten, it blends up really quickly, and he puts the blended kitten into a cup and starts to drink the liquidized kitten. And the last and final clip we end with another horrible one. This is Bunny Crush Fetish 2. Now this one features a white rabbit with a woman playing about with it happily. It starts off very softly playing with it in which she then proceeds to grasp it, its neck and its torso a little bit harder. She then tips it upside down and starts swinging it by its legs. And there's already a bunch of dead crushed bunny rabbits on the floor in which she starts to walk up and down them like it's some kind of catwalk. She then starts spinning around with the white rabbit and then drops it onto a blue couch. She sits on it, picks it up and then starts banging its head lightly onto a wall and then drops it onto the floor. Drops it near to where the rest of these dead crushed bunnies already are and then she proceeds to stand on it to hold it down and honestly the look of fear and fright and pain in this bunny's uh, face. It's just heartbreaking, man. It, it really is. And then she just starts stamping on this poor rabbit. And what makes it even worse is that this video is quite high quality, so you just you just see everything. And it's yeah, like I said, it's heartbreaking to watch. And she crushes this bunny just completely flat. She starts jumping on it and then kicks the now deceased bunny into the other pile of dead rabbits and then starts just walking over them and crushing them all together. And there we have it. That's MD Pope. Bloody hell. That was a bloody long one. That was a two and a half hour mixtape we've just covered there in about an hour. So, yeah. Wow. So... Yeah, according to the end credits, these clips were all taken from places like E-Fucked, Best Score, Live Leak when it was still up, uh, That's Fucked, Crazy Shit, Heaven 666 and the YNC. And we are again reminded by the fact that this was created by Thomas Extreme Cinema Gore. And we get a few more website names which I've never even heard of before, so it's pointless me naming them, I suppose. And that's all. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about MD Pope. It's been a long one, guys, but I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed me trying to explain this thing the best I could. And if you want more background story on some of the clips that I have longer videos on, go ahead and check them out because some of them are actually really interesting. To be honest, they've actually got a bit more story behind them. And I am, of course, going to be looking at doing the other MD Popes just to do the series I think but I've got something else planned that I should be coming up with in maybe a month or so it might even be a bit less than that we'll see so with that guys thank you so much for watching if you're still here I'll probably be uh, premiering this at some point so this is probably a premiere so I hope you've enjoyed the premiere and if you're still here then great thanks for watching and if you want like subscribe maybe click that little bell next to the subscribe button stay safe guys and I will see you 
in the next video. Bye.